Dear children, good morning. Today when we meet online to celebrate our school's Founders Day, let me tell you the significance of this day. It is a day very important in the school calendar when all the stakeholders of the school community meet to commemorate those who founded the school and provided resources for its development. On 20th September 1983, BVN was founded by Shri B.K. Birlaji and Mrs. Sarla Birlaji. At Birla Vidya Niketan, we value their legacy, their contributions to the leadership and vision of the school. It is their foresight that BVN stands so tall today. Our CBSE results are always amongst the top and students get admissions into the finest colleges after school and do extremely well in life. We excel in sports and other co-curricular activities. And more important than any other thing is that our children grow with fine values and life skills. I wish each one of you the very best in life. Stay blessed. Thank you. Dear Basant, I advise you to read this letter when you become an adult and are older. I am writing from my experience. To be born as a human being in this world is a rare opportunity. This is true. One who abuses one's body, having obtained the human form, is only an animal. You have received a lot of wealth and good resources. If these are used to serve others, then, of course, such resources will become useful. If not, they will become a devil's weapon. Pay heed to these principles. 1. Never use wealth for luxury and cheap pleasure. Ravana had indulged in luxury and promiscuity. King Janaka had rendered service. Wealth is never eternal. Therefore, so long as it lasts, use it for serving others. Use the least possible amount for yourself. The rest you should spend to alleviate the sorrows of suffering ones. 2. Wealth is power. Intoxicated by such power, one may act unjustly towards another. You must be careful about this. 3. Do leave this advice for your children. If they lead a life of comfort and luxury, then they would be committing sin and destroying our business activities. You must not bequeath wealth to such spoilt brats. Before it can reach them, distribute it to poor. You have to realize that you are the trustee of such wealth. And we brothers have generated this wealth in the hope that you will put it to good uses. 4. Remember always that you hold wealth on behalf of the common citizens. You cannot use it for your selfish ends. 5. Never forget God. He gives right understanding. 6. Keep your senses under control. Otherwise, they will drown you. 7. Physical exercise must be done regularly. 8. Control your consumption of food. Those who eat to please the palate die early and cannot work enough. Gansham Das Parla This letter written to a son, our founder Shri B.K. Birla, by his father Shri Gansham Das Birla, determined the course of his life and acted as a guiding light. How truly it embodies all the values that have since then become the foundation of all they established. Today, on the occasion of the wedding anniversary of our beloved founder and patrons, the late Sri B.K. Birlaji and Srimati Sarla Birla, we commemorate the Founders' Day, a day that holds extraordinary importance to the entire Birla fraternity, for it marks the beginning of a legendary empire and sets the course for the journey which has shaped our nation and led to where we are today. Whose high endeavors on an inward light that makes the path before him always bright? Who 
with a natural instinct to discern what knowledge can perform is diligent to learn abides by this resolve and stops not there but makes the model of his being his prime care how dynamic is the personality of a man of virtue as explained by william wordsworth such was the dynamism of our founders who envisioned the summary of education as a life force that enables good livelihood strengthens moral character but foremost develops a powerful intellect their ideals actions and undertakings have inspired powerful thoughts strong voices and independent individuals their ideas and values not only hold a holistic place in our education but also in our day to day pursuits needless to say without the passion hard work and courage of conviction of these illustrious visionaries none of us would be where we are today pran geet a school song was written during the inception of birla vidya niketan in 1983 the verses of this prestigious melody are ripe with the ideals of individualism resolve and the dedication to learn and expand one's mind even after 37 years these verses are held close to our hearts song that was it truly has brought upon an aura of togetherness and tranquility we now have swam with an eloquent self composed poem radiating the essence of our founders life story the visionaries the left two people who were bound to meet who were trying to be soulmates who were to grow together dream together and envision together They were just like birds of the same feather. And yes, they met, they visualized and actualized. Not all rich are givers, 
Not all poor takers, but they stood apart. Yes, there were Honorable B.K. Bilalji and Shrimati Sala Bilalji. They are the ones who lit the candle of knowledge that shines in all its radiance. They are the reason behind the smile of confidence that is lit with the candle of knowledge. Their stories are to be told in the ages to come by. I bow to them since the Villa family have played a role in my making. Let's carry the torch, the torch of knowledge and unlock the realm, the realm of unknown. Thank you. How beautifully it embodied all that our founders stood for and how their legacy continues to inspire thousands every day. Even when a single drop falls into the ocean, it creates ripples. But the actions of our founders has created a tidal wave, having changed the face of education in the nation. But to really understand the incomparable impact that they have had, let us start at the beginning and take a trip down memory lane. Shri B. K. Birla or Basant Babu, as he once fondly called in business circles, was born on 12th January 1921 in Kolkata. He was the industrialist and philanthropist Shri Ganesham Das Birla's youngest son and was named Basant Kumar Birla. He completed his education and his matriculation exam at the legendary Kolkata-based Hare School in 1936. His father was keen on the fact that he developed a taste for business and wanted Sri B. K. Birla to start at the very bottom and work his way up, gradually learning more about the business. He started out as a cashier in the family business, the Kesaram Cotton Mills Limited, in 1936. Having developed business acumen at a very early stage of his career, Sri B. K. Birla's primary focus was towards industries such as cotton, viscose, polyester yarns, MDF boards, and many more. Sri B. K. Birla had been actively associated with a large number of companies since he was 15. Subsequently, he became the chairman of the Kesaram Industries. In 1938, Sri B. K. Birla ventured into the industry of making hormonal medicines. In 1942, Sri B.K. Birla married Kumari Sarla Biyani, the daughter of Srimati Savitri and Sri Brajilal Biyani, a freedom fighter and the first finance minister of Madhya Pradesh in independent India. Sri Mahatma Gandhi and Sri Sardar Vallabhai Patel also attended their wedding. Born on 23rd November 1923, Kumari Sarla Biyani hailed from Rajasthan, but her family settled in Akola, Maharashtra and it was in Akola that she grew up. She studied in a local government school where the medium of instruction was Marathi. She grew up amid a variety of spoken languages which made it easier for her to pick up new tongues. At a very early age, she even started to learn French. After getting married to Sri B. K. Birla, Srimadhi Sarla Birla became the matriarch of a large family. They were sometimes referred to as the first couple of the Birla Empire. From 1943 to 1954, the pair founded several industries, ranging from those of woodcraft and tea to airways. Some of the more well-known industries of these are Hindustan Gas and Industries Limited, which was later sold to the government, Bharat Airways, Jeshree Tea, and Century Rayon Plant. Srimadhi Sarla Birla had a keen interest in arts, and her collection of Indian art was displayed at the Birla Academy of Art and Culture in Kolkata. One of Srimadhi Sarlaji's favourite quotes was, You get in life what you give. Perhaps that's what led her and Sri B. K. Birna to set up 45 educational institutes. They had a son, Sri Aditya Vikram Birla, who later passed away in 1995, and two daughters, Srimati Jeshri Mohota and Srimati Manjushri Khetan. From 1955 to 1970, the couple founded even more industries which mainly focused on textile production. Their work during this time also included the establishment of some steel, cement and paper production plants. Together, they built numerous diverse establishments of education. They founded BIMTECH which specializes in management technology and BITS which specializes in technology and science. From the years 1996 to 2009, 
The pair founded six industries that mainly focused on cloth and garment production, complete with those of tire and cement production. These included the Birla Century Mills and the Century Yarn and Denim Plant. Over the years, Shri BK Birla held many positions in many different companies, including his own group of companies. But his favourites were his associations with the group's charitable ventures. Shri BK Birla and Srimati Sarla Birla oversaw many charitable trusts and educational institutions. Shri BK Birla authored several books, including an autobiography titled Swantha Sukhaya where he recounts his early childhood experience of growing up in a pre-independent India and especially his time with Gandhiji. After his son's untimely death, he helped his grandson Kumar Mangalam take over the Aditya Vikram Birla Group's leadership mantle. He liked to work at the corner office on the 15th floor of the Birla building in Kolkata. He was seen there every day even if it was just for a few hours. Sadly, Shri B.K. Birla passed away on 3rd July 2019. Shri B.K. Birla's life work touched various people in loads of different ways. His legacy continues to this day to the various charitable and educational institutions. Our school, Birla Vatanikethan, aligns itself with the progressive vision that our founders saw for the many educational institutes that they built. The school aims to provide an exceptional education while at the same time imparting well-rounded learning to students, inculcating in them a drive for excellence in every sphere of life. Whoever we are and wherever we might be, some form of struggle will always be hot on our tails, be it a financial crisis or a pandemic. Regardless, we must never stop striving towards our goals and continue to fight. These are the principles our founders would want us to own because every titan's journey has a humble beginning, which is perfectly exemplified through this poem composed by Kumar Manish Kaushal, Sangharsh Kartero. उठो उठो चलो आगे बढ़ते रहो उठो चलो आगे बढ़ते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो पराजय पराजय कोई विकल्प नहीं पराजय कोई विकल्प नहीं जीत का जीत का कोई जादुई मंत्र नहीं जीत का कोई जादुई मंत्र नहीं आलस से आलस से निराशा त्याग तुम आलस से निराशा त्याग तुम जी जान से कोशिश करते रहो जी जान से कोशिश करते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो मेहनत कभी व्यर्थ नहीं होती मेहनत कभी व्यर्थ नहीं होती संघर्ष बिना जीवन का अर्थ नहीं होता संघर्ष बिना जीवन का अर्थ नहीं होता रंग लाएगी हर मेहनत एक दिन रंग लाएगी हर मेहनत एक दिन बस निरंतर लक्ष्य का पीछा करते रहो बस निरंतर लक्ष्य का पीछा करते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो दृढ़ निश्चय से क्या नहीं होता दृढ़ निश्चय से क्या नहीं होता पत्थरों को चीर कर है झरना बहता पत्थरों को चीर कर है झरना बहता प्यास सफलता की होगी पूरी प्यास सफलता की होगी पूरी अग्नि जिगीशा की प्रज्वलित करते रहो अग्नि जिगीशा की प्रज्वलित करते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है 
लड़ते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो कौन है जो गिरा नहीं कौन है जो गिरा नहीं हारा वही है हारा वही है जो गिर कर फिर उठा नहीं हारा वही है जो गिर कर फिर उठा नहीं आसमां भी झुकेगा तेरे पुरुषार्थ के आगे आसमां भी झुकेगा तेरे पुरुषार्थ के आगे यू जुनून की हद से गुजरते रहो यू जुनून की हद से गुजरते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो तो उठो उठो चलो आगे बढ़ते रहो उठो चलो आगे बढ़ते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो जीवन संघर्ष है लड़ते रहो धन्यवाद Quite a serene representation through the unique medium of hand movement. It truly shows how diverse art can be. Speaking of which, let us have a look at the grand exhibition of art showcasing the creativity of our young minds, which is in honor of our founders patronizing this medium. It has so rightly been said that fine art is nothing but knowledge made visible. And as such, we present before you the classical dance forms of Kathak, Odissi and Bharatnatyam as a tribute to our beloved patrons. They have left us such a strong legacy and it is now up to us to follow their lead. A message so beautifully embodied in the dance. Behold the unity of music rhythm and movements kirda ka chunuta dinta kirda ka chunuta dinta kirda ka chunuta dinta dum da na 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 dum dum da na 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 dum dum agapa dum dum da na na de ra na na follow my lead gama ba ma gama ma gama ba ma gama sa gama ba ma gama ma gama ba ma gama sa ma ba ni pa gama ma gama ba ma gama sa 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 gama ba sa gama ma
The culture of empowerment, enrichment, and excellence that the school has taught us is why we are where we are today. Thank you to all the staff, teachers, principals, and my friends. Thank you once again. Knowledge gives you power, but character, respect. I, Mrinal Kanthi Ghosh, 
from the batch of 1996 would like to thank the birla vidyaniketan for providing us a solid foundation helping build our personality and making us well rounded human beings thank you hi this is hitesh jaji from the class of 1996 the birla way of education instilled in us the values of integrity and humility and helped us in the overall holistic development of our personality our founders are still a beacon of hope especially now as we relive and navigate the trials of the pandemic these individuals are pillars of resounding strength of positivity and proof that the obstacles we face are what give us a chance to practice real empathy gratitude and courage the courage to change ourselves and to change the world as we reach the end of our program i would like to thank all of you for tuning in today and end with these reaffirming lines from the poem invictus by william henley it matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishments the scroll i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul thank you